Connacht named an unchanged starting 15 for the fourth match in a row as Pat Lamb kept faith with the players who won four successive matches before losing narrowly to Scarlets last week. The stats didn't bode well for Connacht, whose last win at Ravenhill dated back to 1960. It was heartbreak for Ulster in Europe last weekend, but Mark Anscombe's men had only been beaten once at home in the league in 14 matches. Ulster started the night third in the table, knowing that a win would see them go second, at least temporarily. And in front of yet another sellout Ravenhill crowd, it was scrum half Paul Marshall who broke the deadlock in the fifth minute. As the home side pressurised the Connacht line, the man from Lisburn showed plenty of awareness to find the gap and nip over for only his second try of the season. With Ruin Pinar an absentee through injury, this was a chance for Marshall to make the jersey his own. A great start for Ulster, 5-0 up with five minutes on the clock. But Connacht have shown plenty of resilience over the last number of weeks and they bounced straight back with a score of their own in the eighth minute. Watch out for some nice footwork from Robbie Henshaw before spreading the ball out to Dave McSharry. And the number 12 was over for his first try of the campaign and a quick response from the men in green. Dan Parks was off target with the conversion, but it was five points apiece. Jackson landed a 12th-minute penalty to extend Ulster's lead to 8-5, and just four minutes later, the home faithful were on their feet to celebrate a second try of the evening for Anscombe's men. Connaught without enough cover out wide, and when Jackson passed to Andrew Trimble, there was nothing going to stop him going over in the corner. Once again, the conversion was just wide, but Ulster had a 13-5 lead. Plenty of fireworks early on, and the excitement continued throughout the first half. In the 23rd minute, Ulster scored try number three when Trimble served the ball on a plate for fellow Irish international Tommy Bowe to run clear for the score. Jackson converted for a 20 points to five lead. The home side may have been stung by defeat in Europe the previous weekend, but they secured the bonus point fourth try as early as the 25th minute. Quick thinking there from Trimble, and Paul Marshall was away for his second try of the game. Referee Ian Davies consulted with the TMO, but seemed to make up his own mind. As far as I'm going to tell, if that ball has been thrown towards Connacht's side, then I'm happy towards the try. Kevin, I'll make a decision on that. I'm quite happy that's a try. OK, Ian. Cheers. Jackson converted for 27-5 and tagged on another penalty just before half-time to leave Ulster 30 points to five in front of the break. The second half picked up where the first left off with Ulster in try-scoring mode, although that one started with Connacht on the attack, but when the ball was left behind, Trimble raced away on the right wing, leaving the chasing Connacht men in his wake. Ulster totally in charge, and Trimble over for his second try, and Ulster's fifth of the night. When Jackson converted, it was 37-5. And it meant there was much for Pat Lamb to ponder. It would get even better for Ulster, who were running amok, and they went into Harlem Globetrotter mode for try number six. A supreme offload from Bo to Jackson, who fed Luke Marshall and he raced over for a contender for try of the season. This was the reason that Raven Hill has been sold out throughout this campaign, running rugby at its very best, and a fine score, which was converted for a 44 points to five lead. It was damage limitation for Connacht now, as they couldn't do anything to prevent Trimble from going over for his hat-trick. Ulster heading for a cricket score, they passed the half century of points when Jackson converted for 51-5 with just an hour played. Connacht were well and truly beaten, but substitute Darrell Leader put a modicum of respectability on the scoreline with a well-finished try in the 62nd minute. Mia Nikora converted for 51 points to 12. But Ulster weren't finished and they scored their eighth try of the night in the 68th minute, sub James McKinney's kick and Craig Gilroy getting in on the try scoring act. McKinney landed a brilliant conversion and it was 58 12. That's how it finished 
on a quite remarkable night at Ravenhill. Ten tries, some of them absolutely brilliant for the big home crowd to enjoy. A setback for Connacht, who need to lift themselves before they host Munster next time. Ulster travel to Glasgow for their next outing with confidence sky high. Final score, Ulster 58, Connacht 12.